Blake, can I ask you something? Are you a better driver drunk or sober? Well, obviously, I'm a better driver sober. <laughs> Stop. Can I explain it? But for some reason, in a, in a playful, weird way, I say the N-word when I'm... <laughs> what? what? Boogie! He's a Tommy, listen to me. He's listen to me. If every drunk. time I ate a pizza, I risked other people's lives, I would chain my ass down before I ate a pizza! If we set up a game right now, Call of Duty between you two, who would win in a 1v1? He's who not win. gonna do 1v1s ever since that whole thing back in the day. Oh. My lobbies are full of pro players. His I'm, lobby's I'm full of like dudes that-, that. I didn't do anything to her. I went back and slept next to her. And then after I went and talked to them, they were laughing about the situation. The Lol Cow Podcast. Hey everybody, welcome to Lol Cow Live. We have the second greatest con player of all time, Mr. Jordy Jordy. I'm the eighth, Jordy. eighth greatest COD player. Great, great, eighth, the eighth greatest God player of all time, Boogie two nine eight eight. Hi, -o. and our very special guest today, only use me, Blade. Blade, hey, welcome to the program. How are you? Good, very good. All right, I just wanted to start off. You know the theme of the show. It's uh, all about lol cows. My first question to you is: Do you think you're a lol cow? Uh, I actually didn't know what a lol cow was, but. Um... Based on everything said, I, I think I'm a certified low couch, probably a permanent guest. Um, uh, as far as I know, the definition is that we are people that are online presence that are like self delusional and don't know that people just want to pick on us when we think we're super serious and everyone's our friend. Is that a good definition? Yeah, I guess so. Is does that do you qualify as that? You're more of a um You'll do anything for donos type of guy. I wouldn't do anything. You could be milk for content. No, oh, you milk do for, pretty close to everything. Yeah. Milk for content. Hold on, sure. hold on. Where, where's the line at? What, what what line would you not do for a donation? Uh, I I have no problem with gay people, but I won't do anything gay. Um, so, okay. Um, Good. And nothing to is try. That, is that it? Is that it? I mean, anything not to get me banned, you know. Uh, we, yeah, we, you've crossed that line a few times. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start off with a with a uh, a simple question. There was a stream that you did, been probably four or five years ago at this point, where you were like making out with this dude's wife in his basement. Did you mm -hmm. get? Did you hit the skins? No. You didn't, you didn't fuck her that night? No, nope, did not. Everyone thinks I did, but I didn't. We just were making out on stream. Obviously, that's not cool, but I, I didn't fuck her that. You know, out of all the things you've done, this is one thing I think I could probably take your side on because at the end of the day, it takes two to tango, right? Like, she knew what she Correct. was doing? Yeah, exactly. You know? Like, I, people, I saw people say, you destroyed that marriage. Um, I, didn't, she did. I didn't destroy that marriage. Yeah, she I mean, did. obviously it's not it's not cool and it's fucked up and you know, but the guy wasn't like he was a fan of mine, but I didn't really know him. And that that still doesn't matter. He's a married woman. I should have respected that, but I was I was hammered. <laughs> so. Yeah, <laughs> but I I get that. It's obviously not a good look. Um, it sucks because um, I if I was in his position, I would feel fucking awful, you know. But um, apparently, well, well, did you get put? Didn't you get put huh? in his position recently with one of your fans? Like, like, didn't they call you and say they were, like, fucking back in the ass and shit like that? I mean, they were saying that stuff, but they were trolling, trying to get, like, a reaction and stuff. But she never fucked anybody else with me, so. I mean, you're I'm, married now. How long have you been married? I'm not married. Okay, it was, but you went, you've been with somebody for a while now? One of the videos I saw said you've been with somebody named Becky for a couple of years now. Well, like, I maybe was, you were expecting I, twins and stuff? I was with Beck uh, for about... Three to four years, um, but recently we actually uh, departed. We broke up. Yeah, because like I, I was about to say, like I seen Becky like over there with like another ring on, like some dude like swooped in right behind you and like threw a ring on it quick. No, that was that was her grandmother's like ring that she had given to her years ago, and she likes to troll a little bit. And so when she put that on Instagram, people thought, "Oh, this Willie guy like came in and put a ring on her," but she she's single. Is that, is that the guy who died? Yep. What he die of? So you didn't. Yeah. Here, now here's the thing. I, I wanted to, to bring this up. If sure. someone who doesn't know me and only has watched, I'll give a good example. Wigs. 
if I didn't know you over the years and only watched these documentaries that get made on you, I would assume that you're just a huge, massive piece of shit, right? And so Correct. if there, people, it, that, people that don't know me or only watch like clips or something like that, uh, that's a very, very, very small percentage of, of who I am. And But, but there's, a, honestly, there's a difference between my much, clips and your clips. How much clips do played. you know when you're drunk? How much do you remember? Hey, everybody, it's Mudahar. Hey, Mudahar. No, I, I, I just I have a general question to ask. Do you know who I am, Wings? But, or sorry, not Wings, but uh, Blade. Do you remember me? That's what I... Um, you used to do like a podcast or something with, uh, with Keen, right? I was on uh, Mom's Basin a few times. I'm just asking if you know me, because I remember one clip very recently where you were like, yeah, that guy, I hope he gets like licked or something over and over and over <laughs> again. So it's just... I don't no, know how I, much you remember. <laughs> why would you say that? I I don't. Yeah, wait, I, don't why? I don't know. Say I don't. I don't remember saying that. Honestly. So like, there's a huge difference between my clips and your clips. Like when people say I'm a piece, of shit, my my clips are like usually on like a podcast setting like this where I'm trying to be entertaining and saying shocky. Mm. Your clips is drinking and driving. Wait for it. So you gotta drive to get more air, dude. Good, I'm ready. Right, Play Post Malone. What's it good last? You know, I mean, I, like, I did, do, I did do that on um, on a stream before. I'm not proud of that, obviously. You, uh, that should I, never you've happen. done it at least twice <laughs> in my, to it, my recollection in like the last year, Blade. I was not familiar with you until today. Okay. And I watched two different videos about you, uh, Sunny V2 and Internet AJ. And I do think you're scum of the earth. And that's coming from me, and I'm pretty scummy. Um, uh, you know, I, I, so yes, those, they do not paint a, a positive picture of you. I don't know if you're doing charity work out there. I don't know if you're out there like donating, like working in the homeless shelter. I don't know if those videos didn't include that. But you would have to do a lot of that. To make up for the stuff that's in those videos. How, 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 are you so how old angry, are you now, Brian? Boogie. How old are you now, Brian? 41. You're 41? So yep. you're a couple years older than me. Um, does it not bother you to be like smoking in a dude's house that's letting you live there? Uh, I'm not smoking in a dude's house. I, I lit up a cigarette when I was drunk and then we talked about it and I don't do that anymore. So. Okay, okay so wait. Like, hold on. Hold on. Why are you bringing up smoking in somebody's house? Boogie, what clips are you referring to that are so damning? The, the smoking in somebody's house isn't going to matter after well, Boogie's describing Yeah, okay. So uh, the discusses. first the first thing that... Okay. All right. Let, let, let me just start from the top. Give me five minutes, okay? Number one, I'm the son of an alcoholic. And I saw in you a lot of the things that I did not like about my dad. And we all know what my dad did to me and my family. And so that yes, alone is enough for me to Because you bring it up a like lot. You. Okay. Secondly, I saw this clip of you grinding on a drunk, passed out girl. And then she claimed that you sexually assaulted her. And man, let me tell you something. I got no room in my life for something like that. But then I take it even more personal when I saw you throw a dog. And listen, I know, oh, the dog landed in a safe place. The dog could be fine or whatever. I'm a dog person. I have two dogs. And I you love went them. from rape to dog? Dogs, Are you but, serious? But, yeah, I, I think, I'm telling, I think you're telling him behind here. Up. He's threw a dog yeah. a couple times. Okay. And but when a small dog gets thrown, they can break their necks, man. That happens all the time. You could have killed that dog. You, you grind it up on a drunk woman. I, that, the effect, I, I, I just, man, there's, there's, there are things in this world that only God can forgive. And, and that's two of them in my book. Those are things I have no desire to forgive you for. I have no desire to show you respect because you did those things. You have to do so much charitable work, so much good shit in your life. And I don't see a sign that you're doing any of it. Are you? Are you trying to make up for the damage you've done in this world? I mean, I, I, I know I'm a good person. Um, people that. You know, what are you doing that's good? Tell me here. What? Whoa, tell wait, me what whoa. you're doing that's good. Tell me what you're doing that's good. Uh, I'm just trying to like live my life. I moved up here to Seattle to take care of my dying mom. I, I don't know. Like, All but right, does your good. dying mom not want anything to do with you? Like, she literally told you she doesn't want you as her caretaker, and she misses the baby boy that she raised, and you turned into like this this monster that's that's vastly shortening his life. Like the, the, the irony in the room is I'm a 400 pound man pushing 40 myself and I'm going to outlive you blade. I don't think so, buddy. I'm sorry. I don't think I, I, you don't think so. Let, let me, 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 let
much like Boogie, I'm the son of an alcoholic too. And I've seen three men in my life go through what you're about to go through. And I can give you point blank what your life is about to turn to. First thing you're going to notice is your piss is going to turn, turn neon orange. Have you already started noticing that yet? <laughs> Where your piss starts turning neon orange? My, my then you're going to start noticing fine. that everybody else is hot and you're going to be cold because your body's going to stop being able to regulate itself. And then you're going to start getting a thing called lymphedemia. Lymphedemia is when your legs start to swell up. They're going to, and they're going to they're going to swell up to the point where your doctor the, wings the pores are going to start pushing out, right? And you're going to die cold and alone off the charity of the fans that basically pay you to kill yourself. That's well, what's me, going to happen. Take it up, let me take it up a step even further because here's what happened to my dad, Blade. And Jesus and I'll be honest Christ. with you, if it happens to you, I'm not going to shed a tear. We woke up one night in the middle of the night and he had a stroke like something. Uh, I've heard it called alcoholic seizures. I've heard it called simply a stroke. But just like that, just like that. And here's the thing. God did not have the mercy to kill that man. He spent another 10 years of his life, a shell of a human being, pissing and shitting himself. And you That's made a it thing about yourself. That's all right. I'm going to do okay, what Keemstar yeah. wants me to do. All right. He wants me to break it up when this sucks. Okay. Because I know he tried to okay. he told you guys to be more aggressive and shit. Mm -hmm. But if this is going to be you're a bad person over and over again, and there's no fucking no, 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 no. There's, there, nothing there, else there, going there's on. There's a switch. Oh, that's all there's it is. a switch up that's here. That's all this there's shit a, is. Well, it, it's you're gonna a go. bad person. Here's the problem. This is like a, this, knows he's hey, bad. this is like a fucking intervention. Yeah, he's this, like self-admitted. This is like a so, this is like a fucking intervention here because he has to stop. We're in a, and the well, problem is you. the problem is he has 1,100 people, 1,500 people. I don't know how many viewers he gets on stream that come in here and sabotage him. I remember a month ago he tried to go with sobriety and he was doing well. He was like two weeks in, and then somebody door dashes him a fucking bottle of Jaeger. Like <laughs> where? is the game plan to get out of this loop that you're in that is going to kill you in one of the most painful ways humanly imaginable. Okay, I got a question. You guys seem like experts on me and super upset. <laughs> I know that I have a drinking problem. I know that's what's out there. <laughs> okay. Um, why, there, For the record, sound, I know you know. Like I'm also, I'm also <laughs> anger, but I haven't done anything towards any one of you gentlemen. So what... what like, if you think I'm such a big piece of shit, why would you want to have me on the podcast, and why do you care? Good question. Good uh, I question. didn't invite you here. I, I just showed up for work, man. But you know, and I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> what do you mean? You like own a quarter of this? I, I'm just saying. Wait, hold I'm on. just saying. They, I got told this is going to be the guest. I'm here to be entertaining. I'm going to be here to be entertaining. You know, at, at the end of the day, I'm not going to agree with every guest that we have on. Like you said, I only own 25. percent I only 20 own 25. percent But I'm old, I'm, and I'm willing to try to be as nice to any guest that we have on here that I can be. So let me be you nice to you. Let me be shit. nice to you. Like, what is your what is your plan, man? What is your plan? Do you have a plan? Uh, I'm trying to figure it out, but currently I'm, I'm trying to figure out life because it's been, it's been rough the last two years about, you know, trying to get solidified and like I've gone sober before, and the, but things I've picked myself. How long, how, how long have you, and what was your record for going sober? Uh, you don't like mind eight months. Do you ever you find it financially beneficial for you to be like totally mask off and insane on streams? Like people just give you more money for being just more outrageous. I mean, um, once I hit a certain part of the bottle and I, I get into the blackout phase, I, it's like, fast forward, I don't know what's going on. So the only way I can really tell is... Don't you, think that, don't you think that you might as well start streaming on kick and just go like full f***ing like... I mean, like, kick would definitely let I you mean, do it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean actually, that would be like so financially actually, kick beneficial. Is, kick is more um, stringent on um, what... Here's the thing. Kick's more stringent than YouTube for my type of streams. Um, here, I do not knew, drinking I do, streams. I do not know why. I really do not know why. I wish I could get this out of my vocabulary. I'm not a racist person, but for some reason, in a in a playful, weird way, I say the N word when I'm. <laughs> when I what? I really a playful. Don't. Out. That's interesting. Playful, weird way, huh? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I never like. I never go towards, weird. towards <laughs> people and say, "Hey, that 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 black person is the N word." It's not a hateful thing. I <laughs> you have. have. Friends. I'm gonna fucking figure it out. I hate Thank you. Dude, I don't mean anything bad towards N words. Figure out. You're a poor.
Uber and you didn't spend no money on nothing. Ne ne I love you, ne Guys, yeah, like, ne I'm a I want to home, ne Come on, ne The favorite out, ne I want to pee, ne I don't care, ne Figure it out, ne Ne in the chat, ne in the chat, ne in the chat, ne in the chat, ne Are we live? Figure it out, ne Figure it out, let's go, ne I'm lit here. Hey, I don't know if you ain't I don't say I don't say Casino? Yeah, that's probably a good move. Here, that's probably a good move. I'm lit. Yeah, I'm lit. Hey, do any more. You're doing any more. Figure it out. But, but you have. No, I have. When he blacks yeah, out, sure he I says saw the N word. That's so. I, 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 I watched you live do this. Out, when I black out, I do say the N word, and it, it, it is a problem. Obviously, literally, so. literally, there was a stream of you drinking and driving. You pull up to a curb. There's a bunch of black people lay, sitting on the curb, and you call them the N word right there, and you drive off. There was wow. no black people yeah, in that well, neighborhood. Well, I was well. in. There was no black people in that neighborhood, dude. No, I'm 100, percent dude. Hi. Can you help me out here? Fart, fart in your mouth, brother. Do you like? No. Wait, I'm he's, still he's trying really to whistle. understand what's a playful use of the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's not from a place of hate, though. That's what I'm saying. It's not from a place. Of I understand yeah. it's not. It's not from a place of hate. But at the same time, it's, it's, a drunk man says what a sober man thinks. No, I don't. I don't believe that drunk man says so many words because, like, the way that I am when I'm like 99 percent of the time when I'm sober is completely different. Than the way that I am when I'm blacked out drunk. I mean, I mean, I mean, Keemstar will back that up. He says you are completely, you're a Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde situation. Tell, yeah. I want to know, I want to know about like the good guy. Tell me a little bit about good guy, uh, Blade, because I, I would desperate to know that person because they don't put really, it in these YouTube videos. I want to know what he's better me. at wings than Call of Duty. That's that's. that's <laughs> um, I, just, I feel like that's saying a lot. I'm I'm just a, a laid back dude. Uh, I think I'm funny. Um, I'm pretty neutral on things. Uh, my the way that my brain works, the way that I think, I think so outside the box. I don't even know where the box is anymore. So uh, my interact say that my interactions with people, whether they be strangers or people I know on a day to day basis, uh, people come to me. I'm a likable guy. I'm funny. So. No, I'm not I'm very it's just when it's just when you drink it's the exact opposite yeah, yeah exactly. isn't that an incentive to like because you are you're in a really weird situation because like wing said you got like 11 to 1500 people that that obviously pay to milk you as a mm -hmm. local and you you know um and and obviously we all got to earn a living and it's hard to earn a living you know I, i'm facing that reality you're facing that reality. we all are everybody mm -hmm. watching this mm -hmm. is facing that reality right so like no. Are you at least careful? In, Are you at least okay. like, do you know if, if I'm drinking, I'm going to stay away from other human beings so nobody gets hurt? Do you? I mean, like, obviously you're drinking and driving. When's the last time you did that, man? Uh, I, I did that on stream. Um, not an excuse. Um, I... Boogie! He's a drunk! He's a fucking drunk! He's a drunk! <laughs> Look, are you going to keep pointing out that he has a drinking problem? I'm hey, just saying, hey, I'm hey, just saying, if I was Doc, no, listen, if I was Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, listen to me. If, if you I were was drunk, Doc, you drive, if every yeah, time, if every time, Tommy, listen, listen to me, Tommy, if every time, if, Tommy, drunk, if, every, time, if <laughs> every time I ate a pizza, I risked other people's lives, I would chain my ass down before I ate a pizza! Okay, okay, can I answer that question? Can I answer that question? Sure, sure, Blake. Yes, please. Okay. Me, okay. Uh, me, I understand. From Wait, can I ask you something before you continue? <laughs> Blake, can I ask you something? Are you a better driver drunk or sober? Which one? <laughs> Obviously, I'm a better driver sober, dude. Um, stop. Oh, okay. Can I explain it? Uh, I know yeah, that me, me, me being um, me being drunk, like out in um, like like let's say IRLing, right? Like this whole Ice Poseidon CX, go out and and go on the streets and, and do that. Me being drunk out in the streets is not good. I don't, I, I don't do it. Like the most I'll do is like get drunk and say, Hey, let's try to go to the casino or something. And like play a little bit. Um, most of my, most of these clips that you see of me drunk is literally me in a room at a, at a house, like away from that. Because I do know that drunk me out in the public like that, I'll probably end up getting killed if I do that more and more. So I keep it in an isolated controlled area. That's what, that's what I do. 
Do, does drunk you ever do anything nice for you? Like, do you, do you wake up to, like, cool Amazon packages one day? And you're like, I don't you know I didn't order this. this you, know what's, you, you know what's funny? I've never actually, like, drunk shot, which I think is odd. I mean, I... Give it a shot. Give it a shot. <laughs> you like, free... It's like Christmas every time you shop at that point, right? I, I guess, but, like... Yeah, until like, I, I keep, I keep myself in, sure. like, an isolated scenario, and um, I do not drink on stream. Like, sometimes when I, like, meet up with friends, they're like, hey, let's get some drinks... I I do not drink alcohol off stream. If I take a day off mm. or I'm like trying like a lot of times I've been trying to play the new Call of Duty and people are like the whole chat the entire time, blade drink, blade drink, blade drink, blade drink. Mm -hmm. It's like I don't I don't drink for free. I literally have put myself in a situation where I only drink for stream. And so if I Wait, so then so then so then you're not an alcoholic. Because then, like, you don't need it as a dependency. You're just using it as a business write-off. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like, so honestly, then, pretty much. So then maybe, maybe not streaming is, like, the best hey, option. Uh, uh, Blade, 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 I got a, que I got a question. Sure, I got a question. These guys got a lot of questions. Uh, no withdrawals if you're going to ask yeah, that. I, 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 I'm, I, I don't hate you. I, like, I'm not, I'm not trying to. I'm playing gotcha. I'm not doing any of that. Okay. It's, uh, the other guys are going to do that. I'm, I'll play a different role. Okay. Have you given up? Let's be honest. You have no plans of getting sober. And this is the one way you can earn money is get drunk. Um, I'm not judging you per se, but if you like privately said to yourself, I quit, I'm done. This is who I am. And I'm going to die this way. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm going to live. That's I, no to that. Um, I, I actually, sure? I'm positive. Okay. Have you ever have you ever thought that way about what, anything? What was the escape plan? When I, when I when I watch you, when I watch you, it's because like I mean, look, you're a showman. Like all, everybody in this everybody in this podcast is a showman of some kind. You did it with Call of Duty back in the day. If you keep people thinking that this is the one, like even every time you said like, okay, I'm done, I'm done drinking, and then you know a week or two later you're back on the sauce or something like that, that keeps people engaged. Have privately. At, or at least at any time, say, you know what? I'm done. I can't do this. Um, no. No. So you, you always had hope. Yeah. I, I always figure it out, dude. Like, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. I've, been I've been attempting to um, uh, change back over to the new. The, I like the new Call of Duty. I've been playing in it a lot. Um, okay. But when I, when I do that, and it's going to take a lot to change my fan base over from... Like, and I get people all the time that say, hey, Blade, we love oh, this, like a sober stream, right? Or a stream where I like to do an edible or something. People are like, oh, my God, this is so much more fun and chill. And I like you so much better than the drunk you. Um, mm -hmm. but then it gets to the point where I'm like, man, I got to I got to pay bills. And so I'm like, I end up breaking down, saying, get a bottle, get drunk, get money, wake up, hang over, sure. drink water, do it again. So are you Have you ever thought about the, flipping the month? script on your have you ever thought about flipping the script on these trolls? And like taking some acting classes and learning how to be like a good drunk actor, like Leahy off of Trailer Park Boys, right? Yeah, dude, and then like, like swap it out for tea. Uh, okay, you know? I, I, Boogie, um, I will say yeah. this: one of the reasons why I'm able to do what I do, because if that was the case, any drunk person gets turned on camera. Uh, I'm a fucking funny drunk, dude. Like, there's no if ands about it. I mean, I've seen it. I won't lie. Yeah, yeah, you're you're entertaining. It's, it's okay. Worth, it's yeah, worth dude, money. Just don't be you're a black guy near you, I guess. Like, if I could figure out, okay, <laughs> on a on a bottle of Jaeger, right? If I could figure out how to drink just the first two thirds of it and then just be done, I'm at a perfect, awesome level. I don't black out. I don't say stupid stuff. But I'm like, a, like very, very, very aggressively drunk. Everyone in here, if you were to all. Take whatever your alcohol choice is. I prefer Jägermeister. If you were to get drunk for this podcast, the podcast would be better. I'm sorry, it would be. <laughs> I, I choose Maybe. not to drink because I've watched so many men in my life die from it. And that's totally yeah. I mean, cool, like, I got like hard mound dew in a in a garage right now. You know, I'll crack one for you. Okay, but you the know, thing is, uh, I, I'm not at at this point. Like maybe when I was like 25, like um, and I would be like go out and drink with friends and stuff like that. That's one thing. But at this point now. Uh -oh. Are you living month to I, month, Blade? Huh? Are you living month to month, like pay wise? Absolutely. Like, 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 because I was, I was going to ask you that. Because if you're living in that situation, I was going to ask you, is there escape plan from this? Because you can't continue to do this. You're in your 40s now. Your body's breaking down. Like, you can't 
your your long term plan can't be like I'm gonna drunk stream every time I need to pay light bill. Well, I, I, right? obviously because- I'm not I'm not gonna be drunk streaming when I'm fucking fifty. I I've been actively looking for an out plan. One of the, one of the things I was how, doing how old are you is, now? I, I just turned forty one. Okay. Um, you sure, I'm only three years away from fifty. So <laughs> one, of the, one of the one. things that I that after one of these RV trips, like I thought, we did the whole RV trip thing over and over and over again. That got old, and RVs are money pits. Um, I started a streamer house. Everything was fucking great. The viewers found the the landlord, who's a black guy, and sent him death threats, talking about hang yourself, N word, and stuff like that. So obviously, <laughs> what the. F- yeah, the um, Jesus. Yeah, and <laughs> that's they, not. That's were not they me. saying the N word playfully though? That's what's important. But <laughs> stop! Play, no, 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 no. Play. Hey, boogie, boogie, come boogie, on, boogie. boogie. But boogie, stop, to be stop, fair, stop, you stop, said stop, you stop, say stop, it stop, by that. yourself. To have to, to, I don't. I don't know the level of toxicity that your viewers are. Are you familiar with Ice Beside? Yeah, yeah, they're pretty toxic. Yeah, I know. Okay, yeah. so yeah, know when, when 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 uh, like five years ago, um, you know, uh, what's his name, Ice. Knew of me, watched me as a kid, but didn't really like know me, know me. And people were like, hey, get Blade on there. We linked up, and then I feel like I inherited his toxic community. And I feed into it because of when I'm drunk, I'm a toxic person. I get that, right? So, um, right now, if I attempt to do what I look at like this before, before the ice thing, I used to stream to like a hundred people, right? And it would be. Uh, I would know every single person in the chat, and it would be a fun time. I acted almost like a bartender, where I'm like, "Hey, nice to, nice to see you, right?" Then an influx of like three thousand people at once, all telling to kill myself, you and and trolley, and I, there are a lot of good people, but the vocal majority of them are people. So it's hard to get brand deals. It's hard to I, if I go if I walk outside and and go Jaeger, you always get Jaegermeister. Okay. <laughs> Mm-mm. Um, well, Jaeger only sponsors musicians, so I need I need to take take oh, a break. Okay. Um, okay. So, but if I go, but if I were to go out and walk uh, to like a pizzeria, they're gonna congratulate, like get coordinates, pinpoint, and call the place, and I can't I can't go there. If I'm doing IRL, I have to constantly be moving. You can't stop at one place even to get like a soda because immediately they will call. Um. Any, if you if you were to rent an Airbnb and be in an Airbnb, they will literally go on, figure out your location, they call Airbnb and say, "Hey, that person's molesting that, molesting people. That person's a rapist. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna take the piper out the walls." Um, the, the very small percentage of the community, but those people make it very hard to do anything that's IRL. They want you to go out and and, and explore the world, but when you go out there, then they get the cops called on you. So it's a very toxic community that sometimes it. It does lead to me being like, well, it. like I don't know that image you've seen with lawyers where they go, they just like they throw all the papers in there, like. Okay. So, so, so go, I hate to ask a question that's already been asked. So, what is your escape plan? You're basically given given us reasons why there's there's, there's no way out. Sorry, I, but yet I was, you told I me apologize. before. I was venting there for a minute. I didn't mean to go on a rant. Um, no, 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 that's not right. no, I, 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 I taught. No, 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 no. Okay, me, 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 pers- no, me but, personally, um, if I could. Um, because the only way that I could like go completely sober is I need to have enough money in order to take the hits of no. to take the initial hits of well fuck you blade if you're not drinking I'm not donating, um, you know mm-hmm. get either Call of Duty get get like health stuff I thought um, you know uh, hosting a house when I when I had the streamer house and I had the five cameras up. It wasn't even me doing the content, but having other people <laughs> possibly making money off that. Because I was wait, 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 wait. This this streamer house. I actually want to ask about it. Is this the same house where like? Because there's this clip of somebody like keeling over and basically dying on camera. Is this the house you're talking about? Yeah. He's fine. All right, fine. There you go. You say he's fine. It's on you if he falls and breaks his, fu- his face. He's the one that wants to stand there. Right? I, well, I'm trying to get him to. Fu- he's passing out, dude. He's drunk as shit. Willie. What up? You good? Yeah. Dap me up. Give me a handshake if you're coherent. Oh, he's not coherent. Yeah, see, no handshake. No. <laughs> we should have came up with a design. Radio Raheem sent $3 at least. Should we do a clown? Motherfucker in the recovery position. We'll do a clown. We'll flip him on the side, too, when we're done. Put red on his nose. Yeah, make it real. The whole nose red. Like, yeah, yes, yes. We can't end it at this. We gotta know what the f- 
What's happening? Lily's in the back. They already put him in the back of the, uh, they ca I, I captured them uh, carrying the body bag thing or whatever the thing he was on, not a body bag. You know what I'm talking about, the stretcher. No, no one died. Uh, wow. Uh, what was wow. that guy's name? Willie Two Willie. Guns. I don't, I don't know this story. And, Could you tell it, Blake? And that was Nikki's ex, that was uh, Nikki's um, ex-husband or ex Yeah, boyfriend. please tell uh, the story. Okay. I, I really feel, go ahead, tell the story. Because I don't really feel like this is the out you want. I mean, if somebody's going to... You know, I'm not. Show. I'm not. Okay, I want it's a house so helpers can die yeah. for content. I don't. I wasn't even streaming when that whole incident happened. But here we go. All right. So, um, where do I start? Basically, uh, I uh, Beck breaks up with me. Right. I'm on an RV trip trying to make things work, and then I end up after the RV trip. You know, had, had you know everything was good. I go back to Kansas City, which I lived before, and I and I rented a house in Kansas City. Uh, I put up five cameras throughout the house and had 24-7 cams going. And uh, I had, uh, and then Beck from Seattle, she drove my car from Seattle to deliver it to me in Kansas City along with like all my stuff that I had left in Seattle, right? So now, so now Beck's there for like a day or two. Uh, it's nice to see her. And then she flies off to friends and family away from the shank. She's tired of all this shit. Because every single time she goes on a stream, people do shit on her because they paint this really weird picture of her. Try to try try to try to stay on target, Blake. Okay, anyways. So we were asking yeah, you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. Anyways, um, so then she starts dating a mod of mine. Um, and the mod offers to drive from Ohio to Kansas City to pick up her stuff in his truck. So okay. they, I wasn't really cool with that, but whatever. But they came down, and the guy is a super fan of mine, super fan of mine, right? Wakes me up. They're like, hey, we're here to get the stuff, but like, let's party. And I'm like, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm not partying, dude. Um, this dude goes on a bender. Responsible. Well, I don't drink really during the day. I only drink for stream. I said that before. Anyways. I'm just saying it's responsible. It's a lot yeah. of so, um, so uh So they get there. He he starts drinking with other people in the house. Um, passes out for a little bit. Wakes up. Continues to drink. Uh, gets kicked out of Walmart. Gets trespassed from Walmart. Um, is at the house. He's trying to do fire sales. He's wanting me to drink. I'm like, dude, I, I have like so much shit to what's a, do what's a What's a fire sale? Uh, fire sales is a term I, I came up with where um, when I would do drunk streams, it would be different tier amounts for different amount of shots. So, like, if you do 21, I'll take a triple bomb and get it Okay? Or if you do if you do 15, I'll take a double. That's a fire sale. Anyways, he kind of, like, he, he's <laughs> drinking. He ends up drinking a half gallon of, and whatchamacallit, of, like, some whiskey or something. Um, it was just way too much for a Half gallon? Half, Hell. Yeah. Um, over the course of the day, but that's still an insane amount of liquor. Anyways, he, um, uh, the stream is egging this guy named Tone on to like get him more drunk. Tone's like, Tone even says in the videos, he's like, dude, you shouldn't drink that. But he was hell bent on kicking it super hard. Um, and he basically passed out. And then we passed out. They were like, what the fuck did you do? I came up from having a cigarette, and I'm like, you know, we should probably call 911, call 911, check his vitals, make sure he doesn't throw up on himself. The, uh, the ambulance comes, and they fucking take him off, right? Uh, a couple of days later, the uh, he's still alive. He's in he's in the whole ICU thing. And they come and talk to me, and they're like, yeah, we saw we saw the videos online, this and that. And, um, you know, and I asked him, I was like, is there anything that, you know, we could have done once he passed out? So like, like, is that affecting things? Like, no, you guys did the right thing. We were watching on the fucking twenty four hour camera. You're off the hook. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm off. The, I've been off the hook. You're off the hook. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. So, um, he actually he he was in there for about a month before his um before his his family brought him to hospice, but then let him check out. Which uh, I didn't think you could check out a hospice, but. Uh, yeah, well, there's, there's, usually there's only one check out of hospice. Yeah, yeah right. You usually know. hospice yeah. means you're dying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, that was it. There was no. There, oh, also, just to clear things up, uh, they took a toxicology report. He had a little bit of weed in the system, but he didn't have any illegal drugs. Before this, oh, good. he had uh, congestive heart failure because he was in a really bad car accident like a month before. 
he had just gotten out of the hospital and then was like, okay, let's go, let's go meet Blade. Let's go get your stuff. And brought, so drove like from Ohio, Kansas City. I don't, it's a less a long drive. So sleep deprived, just a heart failure on like six different medications, half gallon of whiskey, all that got him to that point where he fucking collapsed. And then he, he, he fought in the hospital, but then he passed. So did, what that, he, what, did it. he pass from heart failure or like alcohol poisoning? Like, like, no, uh, congestive heart failure. Okay. I believe, I believe, I it's been, it's been a minute, but I believe that the congestive heart failure was like the, the final thing in there. You know, he had trouble breathing. But, but like, I remember I, we got the autopsy report at one point. But. Why would they give it to you? Yeah. Like, you're not like his relative or anything. No, they gave it to uh, to Beck because Beck was dating him at the time. Oh, okay. So, but it's like, even with like this other out, like streamer house stuff, it's like, it, it, this all happened because of like just excessive drinking. Like it all just bled back into the same. Yeah, right. Yeah. And yeah, but. Okay. And you, and you could play, you quit drink. You, you had a stream like immediately after he passed away and you quit drinking, correct? I didn't quit. I mean, I did. A, when he passed away, uh, shortly yeah. after that, I did go. The thing was, is I was. I hate to say it about me, but it, this is, we're talking about me here. Uh, I kept on getting banned on 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 YouTube and getting banned on Kick. So I was like, dude, I have to calm down. I need to chill the fuck out. I'm going too hard. If I don't have anywhere to, to stream on, then I'm going to have to mm. go the route of working a normal job. And I don't want to do that. I would rather figure out how to, to, to make my income, to make my living doing this YouTube streaming stuff. I would, I, uh, do, don't you well, think a normal, a normal job, job would save though? your life? Yeah. Huh? Wouldn't that yeah, save your life, you job? think? <laughs> you, if you think you could get a normal job, then you, I, I think that would be the move, right? Because then you could do the things you were saying. Like, you, you, you're in a situation where you're stuck, where you have to drink uh, to entertain people. If you get a normal job, you don't got to do that anymore. Right. I, I, I get that. Uh, only huge, huge, huge problem. <laughs> I, know you, I know you get that. <laughs> huge, huge problem, though. Uh, I've, been, like, I've been starting YouTube since 2009. Uh, there's a huge mm. gap, and also, if anybody says, "Hey, well, let me look you up," uh, would you hire that guy? I mean, I'm, <laughs> this is, I'm this is, so you have given up. Yeah, we, we, so you have given up. So you have given up. So you have yeah. given up. I have, given, all up be, I have given up being normal. Sure, like, like, okay. But e all right, the, 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 the other night, I literally did a stream where the entire stream was just me talking in the chat. Uh, they still kept donating, saying, "This, why are you drinking? Why are you drinking?" Uh, I still made like on hourly basis way more than I would yeah, at a normal job. So even if I did but I asked you a question before. I asked you a question before. If you've given up, if you just decided this is who I am, all you've told us is the reasons that you have to do what you have to do. But then you brought up, uh, and if 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 you have to you have to do this, you have to continue to drink to bring in money, which is kind of giving up because that and you end up like your buddy. You, you end up gone. See what I mean? I, I and if saying. you have the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. And then you said something, a normal job. You don't want to do a normal job. Well, yeah, I get that and all that stuff. But the thing is, whether you've committed to it or not mentally, it sounds like you've thrown in the towel because you're not even considering a normal job. Which, why couldn't and then you get like a why couldn't you get like a minimum wage job and then supplement the money you make by doing your sober streams? And that could, you know, like it may not be enough compared to your drunk stuff, but at least you wouldn't be. Be yeah. What, what are you spending yes, your sir. money on? That's what I'm curious. Because like, you, you, how much money you think Booze. you make? He's a drunk wings. Oh, he, He's oh, a drunk. Hold up. He says he doesn't <laughs> drink off stream, and yeah. the, yeah. the booze on I'm stream sure. is paid for. Oh yeah, dude, I believe that. Yeah. So yeah. like, what are you spending your money on to live month to month? Like, you, you don't, you don't have a car payment. You pretty much are living with somebody else. So you don't have rent or a house payment right now. Where's well, the money right, going? Well, first off, I, I. The place I'm standing right now is a viewer, and I am paying him to stay here temporarily. Um, mm. When I like, I was doing fine at the streamer house until all this happened. Since then, it's been a nonstop uh, hotels, um, you know, paying paying rent to like stay at other people's places, traveling, all the other stuff. Um, I don't really spend money on shit. I'm literally just trying, like right now, because I don't have like permanent housing. I'm literally grinding just to try to get that. I'm looking to move Did to you? Vegas. 
So, did you sell your house back in the day when you did the Bad Dude, Kids podcast? Why, Vegas. why Vegas though? Like, Vegas not gonna help you out. That's <laughs> <laughs> gonna make it worse. No, I just gotta go to like Salt go. Lake City. You need to move no. to Wyoming or uh, or Iowa or yeah. something like that. Uh, I'm moving to the Guinness Brewery. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, I'll be honest, Blade. Like, there's there's a future that that do you have like family, or or like anybody else that will still put up with your shit that's financially dependent that like could help you exist for two or three months to get clean. I know Kim See, has but, done it for you in the but, past, right? Uh, Is there well, somebody? No. There. Well, I mean, I have a sister and I have a brother, and they're both doing great. And I've met them, and I not met them, but I've visited them recently, and everything's fine. Boogie, what you're referring to is yes i do have some things i need to figure out but you're actively going like that this is a uh that i'm going to be ask your question again my question is, is basically <laughs> is there somebody out there who could help you get clean again and then there's like a future where i think you know given enough time because this is a future i've had to ask myself about right do i eventually leave the internet and and help you know find help to get to a point where my my name is Googleable again. My health is better, and and I could work. And now, I, I would now, love to see you have that future. Okay, I would now, really now, like to see bo- you have that future. <laughs> Boogie's telling Boogie's telling Wings to get a job. Okay, right. <laughs> or so, 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 I mean, he's telling Boogie. Brian to get no, a wait, job. Boogie, I don't yeah, get that. Boogie, yeah, you would be is more it? toxic than your criminal search. All right, so Boogie, um, back in uh, I think this is like 2019 ish or whatever. Um, sure. My YouTube channel. Uh, got terminated. Um, there was a sweep of all these YouTube channels get terminated. I literally had no active strikes on my channel. It just literally just delete. You, yep. Right. Yep. So yeah, your IP too. They were they sweeped IP too. Yeah. So what you're talking um, about yeah. This is anyways. So after that, um, I was living with Beck, and um, I had basically I started working for her. Her she was a general manager for Dickies at the time. So I worked at a Dickie store and it was fine. It was work was easy. Um, and I, for about eight months, I did that. I didn't have a sip of alcohol, no, no withdrawals. And um, I remember me and her would like watch streams and I, I could tell that I wanted back into it. Like I was telling like, man, these guys aren't doing like I watch streamers stream and I'm like, dude, you're not taking advantage of the opportunity. You're not funny. You're not this. You're not doing it right. You know what I mean? Like almost like a, a basketball player that's injured and he watches his teammates not play the game right. And right, so uh-huh. then I got back into it. And it's I, I like it. I, I enjoy streaming. It's fun. Um for me it's it's a it's the the, the high of when I do a stream and, and things are going on and my Bluetooth speaker is going off nonstop. I I I, I love it. That's that's the addition for me. It's not really the the drinking part of it. Because I know I can stop. I've stopped before. It's I love hearing that speaker go off nonstop, making money. When it's just like the Keemstar N word clip out in public. <laughs> well, 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 I don't do I don't do media. I think I think media, especially my community, is stupid. I don't do media. I and I actually did a breakdown. I can make more money doing TTS than I can media because media takes too long to play. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I, so what I just, about health? But like, because like you're you're saying all this, and you, you it seems like you have no foresight. Because like, no matter how much money you're making right now, those doctor bills are going to be way more towards the end of your life. You you got your teeth well, are about, falling about, out. About, you got about, holes about, in your legs. Well, the thing is, is that about three years ago when I did meet with Beck, she actually did me like was good for me. Was looking out for my health and got me to go to the doctor. Found that I had uh, type two diabetes. Uh, got me on insulin. Got me on metformin. And that helped with a lot of things. Like I know there's these clips of like my toe, um, like my toes almost falling off. Um, through the tree, you guys are, it's your leg. You have holes in your legs. Yeah, but, but the, another thing with streaming is you don't come with health insurance. And metformin's fucking expensive. My wife has thyroid cancer. I know all about that. Okay. I, I'm I just saying. I'm, just, I'm, rather, I'm saying it's like it, it's like you got to do something now because oh, by, by, your by body's way, deteriorating by, by, by the way we yes. forgot forgot to bring this up um my uh my ex Beck, uh she didn't give up on her kids to go party on an rv that was not the case uh three of her kids are grown and have successful businesses uh the other one is literally uh, studying abroad um in canada and that's the and she's 16 um 
the kid was never around any of this toxic bullshit, and she doesn't do pills. So, like, and you don't even know you don't even know her. So that's like I just want to like clear that part up. I'm, I have I'm, a question. I'm only going I what I'm, I'm told on the internet, and that's all I have. That's the only point of reference I have. Okay, that's fair. But I'm just but see the thing is like I said the wings. Um, if I only went off of okay, I'll give a good example. Boogie, okay. I don't know you, sir. Okay, I don't know you. Ha- and have I have I attacked you for anything today? No, man. I, I, I you know, I imagine if you were drunk, it might be a little different. But it sounds like you're sober, and it sounds like you're being a relatively kind person. And I'm trying to reciprocate that as best I can. Thank you. Keep start told them to attack you. All right, <laughs> yeah, but, but that's what, the what, whole what, thing. What all I'm saying is this: um, the light that the internet paints, uh, if we look at like wings or we look at boogie, uh, that they make it out to be like you're the biggest piece of shit in the world. I don't base my opinion on you off that. This is my first inter- Good, I like, appreciate interaction. I, I understand this interaction isn't as natural as if we were to like, you know, smoke a joint in the park or like I don't know, hang out for a minute. <laughs> but here's, here's the thing: I've met you in real life, Blade. Mm-hmm. And you, and every time I met you, I've only met the streaming blade. Like, like when we went to uh, Beverly Hills, like, what'd you do? You like sat in the hotel lobby and drank and smoked weed. Like that was what you did. Okay. And it, Sounds fun. Yeah, it's like, like, like the, whole, the whole night, <laughs> the whole night was like trying to get somebody to do a cannonball <laughs> hey, wait, from the wait, second wait. story. What do you want me to do? Fucking bust out the Dungeon and Dragon cards? It's like. like no, I'm like, just saying, like, like, uh, you, like, you drink on stream, you drink on vacation, but you don't drink when you're not streaming. It's like it's all contradictory. Like, like, I, I have a question for everybody. I want to ask Blade first. What's worse, eating yourself to death or drinking yourself to death, Blade? Uh, I think okay. that's the same. Boogie, that's the same. Okay, boogie, boogie, uh, boogie. What's worse, eating yourself to death or drinking yourself to death? I mean, my drug of death? choice is food. Is, uh, so I, the, one of the reasons I think I'm just so pissed off by Blade is because I see so much of myself in him. And and and, and I, between the two, Wings. the food I, I, tastes I better. At least I'm gonna remember this, like, eating the food. At least the food tastes better. Alcohol tastes Wings. like. Wings. Where where are you on this? Alcohol kills faster than food. That, that's, alcohol kills faster than food. So kills it, faster. so it's only it's only worse because it's faster. I mean, alcohol has so many things. Like alcohol is like the number one client for like domestic violence, right? From men beating their wives. Alcohol makes unplanned pregnancies. Alcohol creates drunk drivers that kill families. Alcohol is probably one of the worst drugs, and somehow it's legal. It's it's like, it's it's, uh, it's also the number one way to make a great stream. Yeah, I, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't I wouldn't even go that far <laughs> because, like like Blade said, very few people that are inebriated can do anything besides sleep. And are you kidding themselves. me? Imagine all five of us drunk. It would have been the greatest you, stream yeah. ever. If you want, if you want to do a, if you want, if you want to, <laughs> line of fucking, kidding? if you want to go like, do a stream, I'm, I'm telling, I'm telling you right now. Now, here's the thing with people that drink. Okay. Uh, if, uh, when's the last, when's the boogie question? What? When's the last what? time you got like drunk? Did I, I didn't touch the stuff. I don't, I, you, you I'm just over alcoholic. I ain't touching that shit. I've drank twice in my life. Once I got crossfaded back in 2019. Okay. I thought you drank well, at Keemstar's house. Then, did you, oh, you no, that is right. Yeah, no, actually, when Keemstar was in town, I had a drink at a bar. Uh, so I guess a year ago, I had one drink. But I've never gotten drunk other than that what crossfade. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. But if, yeah, that's if, okay. You, if, if you've never gotten like drunk, 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 like drunk, it's 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 going to be very very difficult for me to explain how I am and how I could possibly not be the world's biggest piece of shit unless you've been drunk drunk drunk. Okay, no, but I've been Tom. around plenty of uh, drunk people, and I can speak that yeah, my yeah, father, yeah, when he was drunk, was obviously mm-hmm. a very different person. So I can believe that about you, right? Obviously. Okay, Tommy, have you? I think Blade's fun. <laughs> okay, I, yeah, I, I, got, I, I don't know, man. I... Last time I got faced, I had a lot of fun. Everyone have. Fun. And fun and <laughs> yeah shitty so like now, I, now I, I will i will i will tell you this though that 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 my worst moments that i've noticed is when i've been on this grind where it's, where it's been like several days in a row when i've had a drink uh if i wow. can just drink i'm going to be fun and stupid and then I'm, and then i will usually take a day off or cover and just constantly drink water and figure it out and come back to it but if on these benders um that's when that, like the really those... ugly ugliness comes out i think 
and it's not mm. beneficial. Is that, to is that when you like? That's when you like go get frozen peas and throw them at back and shit like that. No, it's <laughs> when he blacks out and talks about blacks. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, he just does. He, he uses the N word as like a pepper of conversation, from what I've seen. <laughs> yeah, like it's, 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 it's not okay. Honestly, it's bad. I don't want that in my vocabulary. If there was a thing that I could take that out of my vocabulary where I'm drunk, I would do it. Like, it, like I, 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 there's obviously <laughs> there's obviously you clips of me flying around that, that says the n word. So you know what I did? I just stopped using it. Like I just mm. I completely stopped using it. I don't use it privately anymore. Because yeah, I, but you're not you're not halfway through three days into a bender. What do you know? You yeah, that's not, that's you just asked saying, the question. What's I, worse, I, drinking I, I or food? Never, I would never say that <laughs> word in private. I would never say that word, I, which sounds retarded because I'm saying it in publicly as a live stream. But like a sober or, or or high version of me would never say that word. I get it. It's hurtful. It literally is demeaning an entire race of people. I get that. I don't know why I say it when I'm. Why out. is it only the end? Why is it only the N word? Why is why do every why does every other race just get the fucking escape the <laughs> yeah? I would like to see threat of attack. I would like to see you be an equal opportunity offender. Honestly, uh, well, I think I think that right there proves that it's not that I'm like I like I, I hate people. I don't hate people. Okay, I I love all people. Like I got I, there's I got good an idea and bad for you, buddy. <laughs> there's good, good and bad in every single race, gender. Creed, everything. Yeah, but I'm just saying you're only picking out like black people when you're. In your <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not picking out black people. It's just, it's literally. Uh, I believe this is what I believe. I believe it's it's a big taboo, no no word. And when you're drunk, you're like a toddler, and you do exactly what you're not supposed. Like a brat, you do exactly what you're not supposed to do. I don't know why I say that. Yeah, but when you were hey. drunk and shitting on me, you didn't like you didn't default to like an Indian person slur there. You just said I should get or something like you didn't go like you were a racist well, that to me, it. so you don't hate indians i guess well, that, even when you are drunk well, well that proves it Muda. i got a question you say you love people blade you have um you love people you said said before all people uh blade? i say i say the top half of people are, are pretty cool yeah well but do you love people more than you love the n-word well actually i i i, I say persons now <laughs> Do I love people that know oh, okay. I don't love the N word. I, I do not love I the I think you like it. You got to say you like it a little bit, though, right? Blade, you ever thought about doing Fair. content again? Not not Call of Duty content, but like 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 documents. Would you say you're an acquaintance with the N word? You like it's 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 like a, <laughs> uh, a, a a sort of a friend. But like, not one dude, why don't yet? you make like like actually speaking of content, dude, you should make like. Have you ever thought about like making just standard like YouTube content? Maybe not like Call of Duty, but like I don't know. Because like it sounds like me, of Jägermeister or something. Like you need you need new fans. Like that's that's the issue. Like you, you have well, all that's these why I came on here. You. Hi, people. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, you right, but like like <laughs> it would be so interesting. Here. It'd be so interesting just to document your life, like like this trip to Seattle with your mother. Like like just put. Just, just, just document it. Like, hanging out with your friend and stuff like that. It doesn't have to be super high effort, high edited content. But if people, mm. you got to give people another look because right now most people's like perception of you is from other people who have nefarious means with their content because mm. it's all painted in a negative light. So you got to paint the positive light out there yourself. Yeah. What do you mean? You've only been asking them negative questions the whole time. How's he <laughs> that, that, that's because. Yeah, like, that's, <laughs> you know, Tommy, here's the thing. Here's, you know, the, here's the, the thing. Him, let him make a positive video in his life. Tell yeah. him to like go out here, to his. You know what I would do if I was a fan list? list. I don't know. You know, you, you I, know what I would do if I, I was a fan around list? With, list? I don't like, fuck point. around with racist stuff. Like I, I, I dislike that. And another thing is like wings, wings. Stop, stop. Honest question. And I will not interrupt you. Do you think that I'm racist? The it, this is a two part answer. I don't think you're racist when you're sober, because you you like you like a lot of like black culture. You like rap music. You like Jordans. You like basketball. Like there's a lot of black culture ingrained in. So you. does Nick Fuentes. So but, what? Yeah. <laughs> but, on the, on the, but on the other but on the other racist. side of it, I don't know where sober blade ends and blackout drunk blade begins. Because blackout drunk, I know you don't. I know you don't co-sign uh, with the whole like you know you know mm. a drunk man says what a sober man thinks. But like from my experience, it's one hundred percent true. So like that's in your psyche and in your heart somewhere, even though it doesn't sit on the surface when you're sober. So that's where I'm at. I'm torn with that. You know what I'm saying? Because I gave you, I, I, did, I, I didn't I, I gave you a pass you. before. I didn't interrupt you. I, I'll let you okay. say it. So there you go. 
I mean, like, did you did you have any problem with what I said just now? Well, you're wrong, but not. I don't have a problem with it. That's, <laughs> like, your, your opinion is wrong. But okay. This podcast is making me drunk. (laughs) I mean, I'll I'll give you a full credit, okay? Like, it's my understanding, I don't drink uh, barely none in my life, but it's my understanding the alcohol reduces your inhibitions, right? And we're all, like, afraid of that word. We all don't want to say that word. Even if you're not racist, you feel very uncomfortable with that word in your mouth. Most people do. And so Mm -hmm. I would imagine there's a scenario where you're not actually racist, just you let go of your inhibitions and you you go to okay. a place where I'm just going to do the worst thing I can think of. It's would you say this uncomfortable word? Do you think it's that? I personally think it's that. Um, when I wait, so you're saying he's so not racist that when he gets drunk, he just says so more racist. <laughs> <laughs> Rumsaw, <Rumsdorf. laughs> perfect. Rumsaw. Um, okay, I'll be, I'll be completely honest. When I, I I'm from Seattle. The first 27 years of my life, I lived in Seattle. It's a very progressive safe place yeah, I'm sorry. type of thing, okay? Um, anyways, when I moved to Buffalo to do the Bad Kid show, and I saw the casual racism in Buffalo, where people, like, just say say that word, not even in a hateful, like, they just, they, they literally say, they're like, hey, a bunch of N-words uh, just came by and, and bought some gas. Like, they're not even saying they did anything bad, but they just, they literally say it so openly there. I was shocked by that shit. I got news for you. They think they're just as progressive as Seattle. Yeah, I was going to say, Buffalo's a progressive yeah. state, too. It's in New York. Yeah, they're the, yeah, because <laughs> I all... mean, no, 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 no. That's bullshit. New York City is progressive. <laughs> the rest of New York no, is No, no, no. Buffalo. Bu- they see the... They see themselves that way too. You know what? So does Boston, the most racist place I've ever been. <laughs> I have been. Boston. <laughs> it is the most racist place, and they'll all act like they're a bunch of progressive. It's the most racist place on it. You should take an RV trip there and get drunk. It'd be funny as hell. Maybe you should stream in the most sober town in the United States. But Blake, the reason I was that uh, might change. The, the reason I was I harp you so much is I like I've lost so many people in my life to alcohol, and you're going down that road. And I personally think that you're already past the point of no return with this. I think at this point then in your life, it. you're a dead man. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, Let's like, have a yeah, your Let's liver go. is That's the thing. That's irreversibly the thing. You, damaged. You can't say it like that, Wings. You can't be like, I really wish the best for you. Also, I didn't, I I didn't, I didn't say I wish the best for him. I, I, I'm giving him the reason why I'm going so hard on him. I want to drink is be, with is him. because I of like, going. I've seen how bad this life he's leading is. And like it's, it seems like every other day I'm looking at a, a clip where he's done something blackout drunk, and it's like, dude, content. You're, you're such what an you? awesome dude. When the first time I met you, we met you. Like content, what content? Be what it is, dude. You're going to live a shortened life because of this content, and like it's not. Why? Why do it to yourself? You know like, what's so fucking wild? Like as somebody outside of the situation, sorry to cut it off. The last time I ever saw you two on a stream together, ever in a show. The roles were reversed. Wings, you were having a fucking bad moment, and Blade was the therapist. This was like fucking eleven years ago. Here's the thing, though. Like, like you can't. You talk. You talking white boy. Like, no other commentator makes videos or talks on Twitter about how many views they did this month. Well, and like white boy has Kelly to talk to. It's on your mind, but that's got, it's got to be old I for got, people listening I, to it. I, I, I'm gonna talk. I like. I know I shouldn't do Twitter. I've even contemplated deleting my Twitter many a times because it would actually help my channel. But the fact is, I don't really have anybody to vent to. Like, like you know, Woody has Jackie. You know, Alex has Kelly. Blade has Keemstar. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you think you think maybe friends with him relieve stress? <laughs> you know what's weird in that two guys that are killing themselves eating them themselves to death. Nah, I make it three. Two guys, three guys that are killing themselves eating themselves to death, lecturing an alcoholic. That's funny, and that is content. <laughs> yeah, but like yeah. the thing, the thing with me and me and Boogie is like we've made strives to try to change our ways. Like Blade is like yeah, so, hammering down and said like. Let me get. Let me get the. Uh, let me just figure out where in the bottle of Jaeger I can be at to be but, at the but, honey but hole. So did Blade Wait, says the you, same thing you, you do. You are you are you are friends with Boogie. You talked to Boogie. You guys did this whole thing. You know each other. You don't know me, Wings. Um, Wings. You and I were both overweight Call of Duty commentators. The Shinma run back in two thousand nine, two thousand ten. Uh, then after that, uh, Cobb kind of went to shit, and then you. You started being the, on the internet to the internet 
they started being like, that's a fat dude that raises a Call of Duty, and then they started going to me, that's a drunk dude that just it gets gets hammered. Besides yeah. that, we don't I, have I just, we, besides I, I that it. wings. Like, I don't personally think that I would ever hang out with you, like, um, like in a in a social setting. Outside of that, that's where we go. We we just don't necessarily, we don't see eye to eye on stuff. That's all. I mean, that's fine. I'm, I'm, hang out I'm, with, an, I'm an idiot. We hang out. <laughs> hey, Brian, we, we not see eye to eye on. Just there's Brian, no, out, there's no outlook on stuff on how how things are, like how things should be done. I don't know. We hang out. But I, I'm not talking about drinking. Okay, like like put that out of the thing. Like I drink for stream. I make money. I make money from donations off stream. Besides that, I don't drink outside of stream. There you go. Okay. Um, do you, do you think you're just in general more entertaining than Wings Boogie and anyone? <laughs> I can't speak. I can't speak for Boogie. I don't. I don't know what Boogie's content is, so I can't. I can't speak on that. It's it's pretty um, boring. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But and then um, honestly, like, I, Dude, okay, start I, drinking, yeah, Boogie. I'm, 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 sub, I'm sub to Wings, right? I'm sub to Wings, and when I go into his channel, um, he's always like at the bottom of the scoreboard, and it's not entertaining. Me drunk, I could be at the top of the scoreboard with a knife. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going thirty and thirties. Huh? Are you are you better are you better Call of Duty player than Wings? No, because I I only knife. I just take an exploit in the game that I use an overpowered thing. I just knife. That's it. And, That's and my it. lobbies Still. are yeah, but you're at the top different. of the board, and you just said he's up like the board. bottom three. <laughs> different, hey, different, hey, boogie, different lobbies. Hey, Wings, do you think you could beat him in a one v one? Like my lobbies are full he, of pro players. His lobby's full of like dudes that you know smoke weed, and listen to music in their mic. Okay, so no? if we if we if we set up a game right now, Call of Duty between you two, who would win in a one v one? He's who not gonna win? do one v ones ever since that whole thing back in the day. That whole thing back in the day. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he ain't wrong. Sorry for yeah, bringing. I literally said that you're not gonna he do that wrong. because of the whole thing. The whole thing. Wings, did you spawn in? I'm, I broke my controller. You broke your controller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep fucking laughing, you fucking faggot. Oh, Wings, I think. Oh. <laughs> Oh, don't suck. Yeah, we've all been there, man. Fuck you. Fuck. Why the fuck you stream that shit? It was your idea. No, I didn't say stream it. That's, I, I, I'm saying you ain't wrong. I don't want to be one because like it, it's no benefit to me. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. You don't want to get bogged down, do you? What if we put a thousand bucks on the line? Whoever wins gets a grand. You putting it up? Ooh. Can I, can I you put it up, Muda. You, you, you got, you got Muda. You're actually rich. <laughs> can I use the knife? I mean, the, the I whole mean, time. I don't, dude, honestly, I don't know who's gonna have okay, okay, right Muda. You, 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 you stepped in it. Since, since Call of, I mean, since I, Call of, let's let's stop, get stop, let's stop, get stop. let's get a let's get a well, pro to set the rules. Okay, since Call of Duty Four. Um, I have like every once in a while I might go on my shooting account, but I've never like got past like level like ten. I don't. I'm not familiar with Call of Duty guns. I just knife people. I found okay. Honestly, the reason why I started, I would honestly be so excited to put up a grand if you guys do COD Four Bog once again. Yeah, yeah oh, that would be <laughs> awesome. Are you kidding? Because I'm like saying, <laughs> like I, I, I'm, I'm sort of thinking like using the knife. I just use the haymaker. It completely counters it. Yeah. If I had, Moody, yeah, you say that now. You okay. said that. You said that to Syndicate and you the, lost. The, 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 right, you I lost because of can, can, can I say this? First off, I'm not a pro player. I've never admitted. I've mm. never claimed that. And I'm a very casual player. Okay. The thing that the one of the reasons why I started uploading videos to YouTube of me playing Call of Duty with only using a knife is because of people. Because wings. Because of people like wings that get so yeah, agitated wings, yeah. at a, a video game. It's a video game once i turned off my xbox or playstation i'm out doing stuff hanging out with friends getting drunk and whatever but they i believe you but i i'm fascinated i i wonder if you could beat i would really i if no, I honestly had, i feel like you I guys should have money what's what's the game i mean what's the game 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 wings me and blade already 1v1 before the billionaires bash I probably, Forget I that. Got, it's not, we don't have, we don't have Alki David here. I probably got it's two stuck. ten years ago. You, you did. I, I, you got two kills. Okay. So, but here's here's what I'm saying though. It would really it wouldn't even depend. Okay. If if me if me and another person like a casual player would go on like shipment and on COD four and go knife on, go knife only, the person that would win wouldn't be the better skilled player. It'd be the person with the connection. 
So are we talking about? Right. And then if I go against someone who's who, who has thumbs and has, and, and, and would you make it a land then? Then would you make it a land then? Well, well I'm not using no, no, forget, forget all forget all that stuff. It's like you guys. I'm just asking plainly, one v one. You guys gotta. Who do you think would win? Because I want to see this actually. I'll be I honest. See this go on. Okay, wings would wings would win. He thinks if wings he's would using win. guns because all I know how to do is knife. Wings would win. That's that's facts. You can't use a gun in COD at all. I mean, I, I could probably. No, you just, if it was you COD, didn't know that. Four, I Muna, you didn't know that. He called. That's why he's called only using. I know. Blade. I know he's yeah. called only using blade. Yeah, but, but I mean, he literally like for, plays like that too. If, no if, joke. if we put the money up, you can learn how to use an MP7 and slash. What game? Are, what game it. are we playing? Yeah, which one? What game? Cod? What game do you guys prefer? Bring up which COD is your favorite? Which one? Let's do the current I don't one. like Call of Duty. <laughs> we can do the current. Uh, one. The current Call of Duty. Okay. All Call right. I mean, I don't really life. want to do this to begin with, but like a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars. Bro, I mean, a grand. I swear to God, man. I mean, you try to get it. It's Christmas I'm time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop you guys right there. Uh, like I said, I'm I'm a realistic person. Um. If it's if it's wings using guns, I only know how to use a knife. He'd smoke me. There you go. So wings, right. you are better at Call of Duty than me. I did, I did try to make this point because like being good at Call of Duty means in fucking real life. Like it, uh, it's all about being entertaining. Like yeah, that that's what it means. Like because there's always somebody better than you. Just like there's always a faster car than you. Like like I even go so far as like beating people. I sure hope cars means you're than good you. at one v ones. Yeah, well, that's, well, you know that's what true. I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like every car yeah. you get, there's always a car that's faster than your car. Yeah, no, I agree with you. Let's go back to uh, Gucci's. I was just a, about a little to, bit. I was Here's... just about to talk about that. I was just about okay, to talk about that. Okay, we're gonna bring out Gucci. Well, let me let me let me kind of set it up for you a little bit. Okay. Um, a couple years ago, um, you were seen going back into a van, uh, and uh, with Gucci's when she was sleeping, um, you were accused of uh, sexual assault. Um, and there's this uh, sort of um video of i don't know what's going on i mean it could be the car bouncing for all i know but the interesting thing was you 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 were kind of vindicated uh by the police department they decided not to charge you and then the thing that like it, he never got charged just because like it didn't happen no it actually did happen i just didn't f***ing charge him like what the f I hate Bjorn. I hate Bjorn and I hate your blade. It's like 2 30 there, though. I don't give a fuck. Call Gucci's. What do you want to say, Gucci's? I'll rip her again, rip her again, rip her again. Oh my god, you did not just say that shit. But you did end up talking to Chris Hansen. Yes. <laughs> what was your thoughts? Well, first, when you first off, decide, like, what, like, you ever, ever ask yourself, like, oh my God, I'm talking about Chris Hansen, and it's not about, well, I, you know, I want, catching I want, a predator. I want, I want, it's I like, I wanted to clear um, my name because I didn't do anything. Sure. I wanted to clear sure. my name. That's the entire sure. thing. Uh, and 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 the, and the, the cops kind of did. Was, um, they let the blackout drunk where you just didn't know what you were doing? No, I wasn't drunk. That's the thing. I wasn't drunk. I was not drunk at all. I was a little tired, but I wasn't drunk. I didn't do anything to her. I went back and but slept you, next you, to her. Because I, I remember you there was some, some, some dude telling you not man. to do that, like, over and over again, and you're, like, pushing him off. No, you're thinking of Bjorn. That's, that, I don't think that happened. No, 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 no. Like, this, there was a dude that literally said, like, hey, don't do that, Blade. Don't do that, Blade. And Blade's like, no, no, it's cool, man. It's cool. It's cool. And then he goes and does it anyway. I went back and slept. Like, know. we were on an RV. It was bouncy as f um, I go back and sleep, wake up to the internet thinking I'm a rapist. I try to clear my name. Now, one interesting thing about that is um, I went to the police and, and literally went there on my own accord, no lawyer, talked to them, told them mm -hmm. what happened. Made, showed made them, mistakes. Showed them, um, well, I don't, don't really think it's a mistake because I, I, didn't, I didn't do anything. Like I was, I was never, what did you tell the? Uh, I was. You, you were asked an interesting. You were asked a, a really important question during that time. You were asked if they. they you were asked if they were going to find any DNA on in, in, in your DNA back there, and you, you gave them an answer. You thought they would. Do you remember what you told them? Okay, there was at one point when everyone was off the RV, and I hadn't jerked off in a while, so I and jerked off with no one in the. What? <laughs> God, sorry, go ahead. Oh yeah. So, so do you know? Do you know the results so, so, of the, so, the, the so test? Let me let me, let me clear this. Like like you get a, you wake up, you get accused of rape, 
mm-hmm. and then like all this thing. So like at the end of the day, you're like, man, this fucking sucks. Let me go beat off in the place I was accused. No, of no, 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 no. No, the beat off, no, the beat off thing didn't. happened days before that. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah. uh, did, time. Did they find it. your DNA there, or did you never found out? Like what was the final? We never found out. Never found. They just decided not to charge you. Yeah. Did, did, did the cops tell you to stay in town while they did the investigation? No, they they literally when they were um, looking at the stuff and like uh, first off mm, she went in and talked to them and, they, they, <laughs> and then after right. I went and talked to them they were laughing about the situation. And yeah. and then, and then you, fast forward, okay. fast forward two years after that, um, there was another mm. RV going on, and then I had purchased my RV, and we crossed paths, and she said she was sorry for all you the would go to. and we actually that was doing the whole Andy Dick thing, but she actually stayed in my RV um, for a month after that. And probably because Andy Dick was there. He thought and she it, thought it was she was safer with Andy, you than Andy Dick. Andy Dick's a <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> so, I, I, so yeah, I, re- he's I right. reconnected with her, um, and, and to try to like put it behind me because I'm not a hateful person, even though I was fucking pissed sure. that she, well, had gotten, she had gotten convinced. She didn't believe herself. She got convinced by other people that something happened when nothing did happen. And so I forgave her for that. And then we actually did streams together for like a month, month and a half. So, so your bond of alcohol with Go Cheese cleared this whole terrible situation no, up. No, Is that what you're saying? Uh, <laughs> me, like, um, when Gucci's drinks, she's a fucking handful. When I drink, I'm a handful. Mm. If Gucci's and I were drinking, perfect, were to drink at the same time, the RV would probably be on fire. Like, it's just not a donos. <laughs> Oh jeez! I, right, I definitely group, want. In a, in a group, I, I definitely, in a group of people. In a group of people, when they're drinking, mm-hmm. there's always the drunkest one. And then whenever that happens, usually the other people that are getting drunk have to be like, "Oh shit, I gotta take care of this person." Very rarely is there two people completely out of their mind in a group setting. What is your relate? What is your relationship with the, the 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 streaming legend born Bjorn? I love Bjorn. I love Bjorn. I I, I, I you you love Bjorn. Mm-hmm. Is he back in? Um, he's in De- is he he's back in, Denmark. in uh, Denmark? He's he's in Denmark now. Mm-hmm. Is it true that he was? Um, I guess he was on some kind of disability or something like that. But he used the disability money from Denmark to travel the world and stuff, and eventually got caught. I believe he did get caught. I think he had to go to either jail or pay pay it back. So wow. <laughs> Um, I, I want to believe you with the Gucci thing. I, like, if I if we were to ask her today, that's what she would say. Mm-hmm. We had her on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, no, he's okay. he's telling the truth about them getting back. All right, well, together. then I owe you an apology because I was going into this. I was utterly convinced that that's something you did. And I and, and that, I did, the and cops. You know the it, reason why I asked you earlier, like, have I attacked you? I, I'm not mad at you for believing that because that was your first impression of me. I'm just saying, get to know me, and we'll go from there. So. Okay. I thought you were. Right. Fu- I thought you were screwed. I think I did a stream on it. I thought you were I thought when you, you were drunk and drive on stream. I'm like, trouble. how is that not like evidence the cops could use against you? Because like, I, no, you, you might not know this about me, Blake, but like, I have this these trolls that would go on TikTok for a while and they would like pretend to be me. They would like use a soundboard or like video clips and they would go to like people and like say, I'm going to rape your child or. You know, or they go to military guys and say, like, you know, when you get deployed, I'm going to come here and take go to your house and rape your children and stuff like that. Why did the cops come to my house about this? Right. And this cop. Granted, he was rookie, re- real young, fresh out the academy. I'm going to stop you accusing right there, wings. me. I'm going to stop you yeah. right there, Wings. Don't talk about it. I have shitty people that are trying to ruin my life, too. But if I I don't, I try not to talk about it because that's what they want. They're literally sitting there like, oh, they Wings never, is talking they, about they, me. They, then they would have nothing to talk about. Jesus, yeah, I mean, it, it's like it, asking you not to drink. <laughs> but but you, oh, come on. I just don't see how like like they, they use that against me. Like how do they? How did you did you escape legislation from that? Legislation? Like did? Legis- no, there's not. not legislation. Legislation. <laughs> what word am I looking for here? Prosecution, prosecution. was the word you were looking for. Yeah, yeah prosecution. Uh, okay. If you're, if you're, pulled if over, you're that's, that's what happened. To, to like somehow justify. No, no, I'm not trying to justify. I'm, I'm, I'm saying not. like, did, did you, he wants to know how you beat it. How, how, how did, how, how did the it. cops not show up to your door when you had video evidence? Yeah. Very important stuff for the viewers. You know? <laughs> I, I mean, 
I drove around my neighborhood, came back, shut it off. It doesn't make it okay. Deleting VOD. Uh, the, I mean, like, I, you didn't I, really come. Didn't Beck have to come save, save you? you? <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Dude. Like, I, I've already, I've already said, like, that's not cool. That's inexcusable. Um, right, right. One of the you, things you, about, you one, one of the things about, here's the thing. One of the things about drinking that, um, is that it's, it's fine if you're if you're doing it and you're hurting yourself. It's not cool when it affects others like family members or the public. Me the b- driving mm. drunk is fucking inexcusable. It should never ever ever happen. Correct. And I want, I want to say this, Blade. It's not a Blade issue I have with you. It's a drunk driving issue. Like if Destiny was on here, I would give him the same hassle. Okay. Because Destiny. You, that's right. Drive. I'm telling you that it. it, I, it I should, remember it, that. I'm yeah. telling you it should <laughs> never happen, especially the day of Ubers and Lyfts. Um, before before I drink, I go okay. Um, do I need to be anywhere? If I do, do I have a Lyft or an Uber ready? Where am I staying? Like cross it's, up it's, all those it things. Sounds like it, it sounds like you need a stream handler, honestly, because like if you had just yeah. had somebody that just well, doesn't I mean, like, drink. The thing is, if you know it's if you know it's wrong, why did it even happen? I guess is what well, I don't. He has a stream handler, a bunch of drunks. Well, I'm just saying, just just <laughs> I, I had, person I had, to, no, no, I, I had a stream I, with you. No, honestly, yeah. I, I had that and it was fucking great, but it ruined my relationship. Beck was my fucking caregiver handler. Beck would be yeah, but sure she was I, drunk sometimes too. She got drunk She's like three too, times, though. dude. I'm only He's not an alcoholic. Lives. Okay, well, that, Nikki, I'm telling you right not, now, she like in our during our relationship, she has maybe had uh, like three or four times where she actually had some drinks. She doesn't drink. She had never drank okay. until she met me, and she drank like three or four times in a three and a half year relationship. Was was she drunk oh, when she gave you like fun. A, was she drunk when you gave you a job <laughs> on stream? You made her fun. <laughs> yes, she was. Oh, because I was just one to three. Okay. Yeah, honestly, dude, like there's there's literally like maybe a handful, three or four, I don't know, but she's not she's not a drinker at all, like at all. Okay. Well, but the, but the think, clip, uh, but the clips are going to make you think that she's like some sort of. Oh, and also, she was working a fucking full time job and then had to come home and deal with lit Romney. Like you said, you've been around drunk people. Wait, okay, they are who's, paying the who's who's lit Romney. I, I I don't like being around drunk people. They they want to be touchy and feely, and they want to get in yeah. your personal space. Who's yeah. touchy and feely with you? Every drunk <laughs> ever done, right? but, but it doesn't matter. Like, if you, like I used to, work, I used to deliver pizza when I was a young man, and like you go, you go deliver pizza to bars. They want to like hug you and like want to put money in your pocket and shit like that. And it's like, uh, I'm good. Well, if you want, you, if you want to hug me and put money in my pocket, I'm down. What's up? Sign me up. Yeah. Oh, don't listen to these guys. They're yeah. a bunch of fucking prudes. I'm an introvert. I, like I hate people. Like like if I could put a gate around my house and and put a put a, a machine gun turret in front of it, I'd do it. I'm, I've always had social anxiety, and so like uh you know like crowds have been Shrek an issue. Drinking. I've gotten better with it, but the one place I still feel in, like overwhelmingly uncomfortable in is literally any bar. I just cannot handle drunk people. I, I hate, I'm literally I hate going to a bar smoke. after this. Cigarette smoke. Like, all right, I, all right, Blade. I I think you've been tortured enough. Um, I, I actually I kind of want to start. I want to drink with you one of these days. I think that would be a riot. By the way, you try to ask what Lit Romney is. Lit Romney is my drunk blackout drunk. I call it Lit. Alter. Oh, okay. That's your alter ego. Yeah. All right, Blade. Uh, you've been a good, beyond a good sport. Thanks. <laughs> you know. Um, and uh, I, uh, I wish this, this podcast would probably been a lot better if you showed up drunk. I'll be perfectly honest with you. So thank <laughs> I, you, I everybody, I, I, for being I, a part. I don't, I don't drink for free. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. They, they didn't want to go with my idea. They didn't want to go to my idea. My idea was play, to send you a bottle of Jaeger in advance and then give you another bottle after you finish the podcast. Uh, I don't blame you at all. <laughs> That's a smart answer. Thank you, everybody, for being a part of Local Live, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Peace.